Hello everyone. Today I am with you with another unpackage video. This is a Micron kit, Voron Micron kit. It's basically smaller version of Voron V2. It has a flying entry. This one, this kit has built volume of 120 mm and it uses 50 mm profiles. I got this from AliExpress, the, from the dealer of, from the dealer named Fun, Funsor or Fansor. I don't know the right pronunciation, but I will, I will drop a link in the description for it. And I have ordered this around the end of the November and approximately one month later I have arrived. So let's see what is inside. So the packaging is not nice they are not using cut foam so for that we need to be careful about if there is a damaged item or not uh, i don't know why but they put insulation tape this is used for normally if you made a joint with p2 cable then you are using this tape to protect it isolate it i mean, normally it's not on the bomb but i don't know why did they put it Okay, let's move on. This is a PTFE tube, 1.9 inside diameter, basic stuff and zip ties. Good they have, they are sending this one because they are, I don't know, you can see, but the widths are very small and I couldn't easily find these and I broke my parts a couple times because of the, they, they designed for these, but I had the wider ones and basically I broke a couple parts. Good thing they are sending this one and of course the electrical cable and they are I think they they send required connectors I I need to check they have the right amount and with the pins Micron does not have that much builder it's kind of new also so that's why this kit this I think doesn't have the pre-crimped wire but uh, earlier for example in my first one also it was not pre-crimped in those time pre-crimped wires was coming the market and later on on my second v2 i i got my pre-crimped wires it's way better to have with wires and connectors i mean it's way better to have pre-crimped wires heater for for the hot end and thermistor for the hot end there is no brand on it i'm not sure it's 50 watt heater it looks like what is sold in triangle labs but it only looks like i'm not sure about the quality it's 24 volt 50 watts yeah it's at least 50 watts we have one i think yeah generic uh generic thermistor with the longer wires yeah like i said packaging is not good but let's see and let's move on this one i think these are PMC 2209s yes like Voron we should at least have seven of it yeah, they are big three tech that's gonna it's at least good TMC O3 uh, TMC 2209 stepper drivers uh, yeah these are the linear three four five six yeah seven of them and you need to have 6 MGN 7 and 1 MGN 9 this for the gantry I will check MGN 9 and one of the MGN 7 hmm. they are pretty pretty smooth hmm. They're pretty smooth, yeah. It is one also has smooth. It's it's moving freely and it doesn't have the wiggle. That is nice. And we have belt. It's only using a um, six millimeter belt. It's not cut. It has only one long belt. But it seems they are gate belts. That's nice. It seems nice. Yeah, they don't have the foam, but they use a lot of this plastic covers. We have the screw set and 
one thumb screw uh, I'm not sure where are we using thumb screw maybe is that and stop I'm not sure but yeah we will check it and we have also bone pack uh, extruder sets also let me check these yeah these are also correct heat uh, heat inserts so they have the diagonal tooth I also I don't know where are we using this like standoff things but we'll see I think rest of them are screw and the good thing that they are not sending black oily screws that's nice so it's not oily first and it, second of all they will not be rusted let's check this one this is the motors for extruder so in this kit you can have two options one of them is you can select motors so i select moons one you can also select other brand i select moons one to be honest i am not sure it's the genuine moons but we'll see i think if it is breaking right away or not but we'll see so extruder motor let's check this one let's start with this i have the coupler magnets and another standoff this could be for i don't know it is the same maybe they put two times by mistake but it's good for this could be for the z and stuff and we have these mm, pulleys and magnets inside and uh -huh, let's move on we have the closed loop belts for the zs yeah again they are gates belts and they are closed loop we need four of them for the z motors again they are they are the same belts in the v2 188 millimeter and we have bearings and yeah they are the rs type they have the, this black plastic cover instead of gray metal one so these are the recommended one that's nice and we have also pins rods for the z motor and i don't know if you can see it but they are d-shaped it should be like this because one of the screw needs to be sitting on the flat place to hold this uh, pin otherwise it can there is chance to move these are moving freely and these are for cable oh, i forgot the name cable thingy for umbilical mounts and yeah i was not sure they are sending this but yeah it's a nice way to put your umbilical right umbilical cable and let's move on again we have these standoffs in here and things this is the set for the z end stop with the pcb that's nice also i have the jst connector inside it so i think they are also selling this individually so i think that's why we have duplicates for example these standoffs uh, it might not be also duplicates, I'm not sure. Maybe we need these stanzas also somewhere else. We have one is here, uh, yeah. So again, BMG extruder kit. One of them was inside of the screw bag and one of them is here, but yeah. They have sent two. This is not the IDEX by the way, they, it's just, uh, they have sent two times by mistake, I think. Ah, they nice. Omron switch. But they don't have the lever. I mean, at least it's written Omron. I'm not sure it is Omron or not. But they don't have the lever. I'm not sure Micron uses the switch without le lever or not. So feet for the printer, electrical connector. Let's see, there is a fuse on it or not. So you can opa, open this one like this and this is the fuse. If you need to change your fuse, you can change it from here. If this one is broken, I mean. Nevertheless, let's move on. Yeah, these are for the motor extension cable. So in theory, we should have six to four, six, yes. 
and this cable I know that they are Ombron this cable I also recognize it from my V2 uh, V2 kit from Formbot they are the same cable that I can straightforward say and I, I'm very happy with this I think these are genuine Moons motor so that leads us it's probably genuine ones I think this is the motor yep yes this one yeah Moons motor Nemo 14 these are for the Z and yeah it has different connectors so be careful about these uh, cables because these connectors are different it's like a it's like I don't know the I don't I don't quite remember the name but these are like micro JST or something so this will be uh, this will be connected in here like so and the other part is normal JST so you can connect to your own uh, motherboard I will be very careful about this one because for at least for me it is really hard to also crimp these connectors second one Z motors Nemo 14 third one and fourth one so these are for the Z and yeah again Nemo 14 for the A and this is for the B so in total we need six of the Nemo 14 motors okay SSD solid state relay for the beds and so I, I will do what I will normally do means I don't trust their nominal value so on the SSD it is saying its value is 2 amps so I will divide it by 2 since it's Chinese and I will like, I will say that this is for 1 amp and I will I will check this when I I don't know how how much my bed is the how, sorry what is the power of my bed is so the thing is another option you know earlier I said that there are two options one of them you can choose motor if you want moon's motor or the other one so I choose moon and another option is you can choose DC powered bed or AC powered bed I don't know why I like AC powered bed more so I choose the AC powered bed that's why I need one SSD two amps written for the nominal value for this SSD but since it is I don't trust it I just I'm just dividing by two basically so I would expect that this one is supporting one amp and now when I open my bed I will check what is the power of the bed and I will calculate what I need what current I need for the bed octopus motherboard I don't know why I have used spider and octopus don't get me wrong I didn't have any issue with spider but now I like octopus more so I'm happy that they are sending octopus but like I said I just like this more there's nothing with the, I didn't have any issue with spider but yeah it is how it is so it is an octopus board so again you need big board because you have six uh, stepper motor for uh, six stepper motor for motion and one stepper motor for your extruder so you had you need to have at least seven stepper driver socket in your motherboard they are sending 32 gigs of SD card and but this kit does not have Raspberry Pi you know the story so since I have I choose the PC bed so I'm getting this one 150 LRS 150 meanwhile power supply and yeah don't forget to select your correct voltage i'm in europe so our power out that is 220 but if you are in us or canada or if your power out that is 110 you need to switch this one like this and see 115 or 110 but like i said mine is 230 220 so this should be okay uh, it's yeah it is written mean well I think it's been well I am not sure how can I confirm it and yeah if you are if you bought if you choose DC bed they, they are using this USB type of power supply with which I don't remember the well the power but it's more than this one uh, I don't know this brand uh, 24 volt bed I think this is for the chamber I'm not sure this is 60 
millimeter yes and others yes yeah it's basically the same with the v01 tool head is like basically the same i guess so this one for the hot and cooling fan it is they sent suno fan and for the cooling part cooling fan these are 24 volt by the way this is 0 0.9 yeah this is 5 volt be careful about it this is 5 volt fan hot and cooling fan and these are 24 volt again i don't know peng lan to peng da this is peng da this is peng lan to maybe they are same brand but i don't know and the bed and the big bed kit yeah so you have this five millimeter bed i have no idea this is casted or rolled actually yeah it is uh pre-drilled so these are for the mounting the aluminum bed these are one of them is for the uh tear your thermal fuse and one of them for your earth connection i need it because i'm using ac like i said so this is set. Uh, this is your power coated sheet yeah interesting it's double sided but both of them are power coated i'm okay with that because i really like this power coated with the you know high density of the texture i like that and your magnets i am not sure the brand or quality but yeah fine i guess and yeah they sent wrong bat <laughs> so this is the 24 volt bat so i need to write about it so this is the dc bat normally but i asked ac bat and this is the 100 watt so let me check with them so if i use 100 watt bed at 220 voltage that means that uh, 100 divided by 220 around 0.6 amps will i need i will need so that means this ssd will be okay again but i think i will use genuine one if i can fit it I bought this from Fermio Labs, so if I can, yeah, I will use this one. I will use this one. And let's move on. And also, yeah, I need to report this. And also, I bought a aluminum part from Fermio Labs. It's not drilled. I need to drill this. I will use also this one. The reason, also magnetic sheet I got from Fermiolabs, the reason that I again sourced them because yeah it can be happened that this might be, I mean the aluminum, I'm not sure, this can be pretty good bed with, which is casted but I don't know. So that's why I will use trusted ones because if I put my heat bed in here also stick my magnetic sheets in here and in the future if i realize that is taco uh, which means it's not uh, after after heat cycles if i see that it's not it's an uneven bed or it became an uneven bed and if i want to change this one i also need to change my heater pad also magnet magnetic sheet because it was already sticking in here and maybe you can reuse them at least heater silicone heater but I'm not sure, so that's why I will stick with the Fermio beds. And this is the thermal fuse. And this is the, of course, frames. It seems they are pretty well cut. Like I said, they are 15 by 15. And it's not, yeah, these should be not drilled, but it's pre drilled. Let me show you. They should be also tapped. I couldn't see, but I'll just try this one. Yeah, they are tapped. They're also tapped. Opa. I 
to do see because that is why I tried it. Well, to screw. So I will check the sizes, the lengths I need. Then if something wrong, I will let you know. As a last, you should have the panels. Okay. So they wrapped in a way that they bent the back panel. But since it's plastic, I think it will came back its form again. So the back panel is bended. But yeah, yeah, it will be okay. But yeah, it would be better if they put some form between and prevent this thing. Because yeah, you will basically put this and uh, and yeah, you also put clips on it. So it will take again shape for the frames, which is straight. But yeah, it will be better if they can put between it, so to prevent this bending. And this is the this is the deck again. This is plastic. Yeah, another thing happened. Let me show you. Yeah. So again, it's plastic. I think I'm not sure the material, but if you can see after running five. Or uh, four, four, five, four or five times my printer after four or five print cycle, it bent like a. But yeah, if you can see, it's really bent. So that's why, for only for my deck panel, I have ordered this uh, aluminium thingy. I forgot its name. It's an aluminium panel. It's basically a thin aluminium, and between that there is a plastic thing and. This is more heat resistant, as I remember it was 80 degree or something. So I ordered for my V2 to replace it. And while I'm buying that, since I don't want to deal with the same issue, uh, while I'm ordering this one, I also ordered for Micron. So I will use this one for the only deck panel. The rest I will use these ones. Uh, the rest I will use these plastic ones. I think they are ABS. Yeah, but just giving you, uh, I, I'm not saying this will have problem, but uh, this, is, this was really cheap and I was already paying shipping, so that's why I bought also for Micron. It could be happening also in this one also, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't take experience. This is cast acrylic sheet. Uh, as I remember, they are also, Warren team also recommending the acrylic sheet, so that shouldn't be issue. I mean, that shouldn't, that sh shouldn't create an issue, but yeah, it is, like I said, it was really cheap for me to order for Micron also. And yeah, and another thing, so to change this deck panel, I basically removed my complete electronics and I also removed my yeah, bed and bed frames. So it is really hard to change it. So that's why I said, why not? But the rest I will use the same. And if I had not issue with the V2, I will use again the panel for the plastic. I mean, this one came what it came. And another thing is on my first V2, which was also from the form board, there was no issue like that. It, I used a lot of, yeah, I used really long that my first V2 from the form board. Yeah. In that, my deck panel and other panel was just again straight. Most probably they are all, they had dynamic suppliers, which means that they are buying from one to another. Yeah, they, are, they don't have the same supplier, so they don't have the same quality. So because of that, in the panel part, I... And Let's move on, this is the bottom panel, it seems. And again, cast acrylic sheet, I think. Yes, 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 yes. So this is for the top. I don't know the dimensions by heart, but yeah, I will check it and let you know. So these are the sides and the doors. So it has single door, which I like. Uh, the cuts are good. And uh, yeah, it uh, seems good. If I do this, so actually they can also put it like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, they don't need also foam. They can put it in here because it's nearly the same size to prevent this. Yeah. 
Okay, that's, um, yeah, that was all. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know the bomb by heart, but it seems there is everything except the Raspberry Pi. I will check the man like you know if the sizes are correct and uh, and also I so this does not has hot end so for hot end I'm using Fetus Dragon BMO hot end this is the normal flow and I also I will use also Canvas for the tool head so this is the SHT 36 version 2 is the CAN bus port basically and for to connect this I also bought them from Utalk from them so this will be connected to Raspberry Pi and from here I will cable my full head port so they can communicate each other with CAN bus still I don't know the reason of this tape I seen a mod in the micro repository so that normally you are printing the 62 gears but instead like V2 I will use uh, Metal Gears, i seen a mod for it and this is Poach Gears it's just uh, like yeah, it's basically the same in the V2 but smaller one V2 is used naked it. these are not included by the way in the kit I will use LGX, Bontek LGX Lite for an uh, extruder yeah, just yeah, to try it basically I will not use this won't take the synced gears, double gears. I will use this LGX light. That was all. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or, or something to mention, just let me know in the comments and see you on the next one.